name is William Oforieta, aka Flash Kick. The brand is Flash Kick. I'm a personal trainer and a fighter. Um, so I used to work for TV3. I was an IT guy and um, honestly I wasn't feeling the way I felt like I was too young to be sitting down all day, not really using my my power and my energy. So I decided to join the gym. And the first day I got there, the trainer, it was a kickboxing gym. The trainer had everyone laughing at me because he said I was skinny with a pot belly and anyone could beat me. So I took on one of the students and I finished him. And after that, the trainer said, you train me to become a fighter. So me becoming a fighter, I learned a lot about working out, how it changed my, my physical looks, my mental as well. So I decided to spread the word, you know, so I quit my job and then I took a few courses in personal training. Well, I took a lot of courses in personal training and then I mixed it with my martial arts and yeah, that's how you have flash kick. Um, honestly, I, I think that Ghanaians don't take personal, don't take fitness as serious as we should. I mean, knowing the, the way we eat over here, it's really bad. We don't take it. People take obesity as a sign of wealth, you know, and it's very dangerous. So, I mean, people are getting into the, people are beginning to work out. People are trying, trying to find their grounds with this whole fitness stuff. But yeah, we, we still have some, some way to go. You know, we still have some way to go. speak for everyone but I'm working it's my full-time job to be a personal trainer you know I wake up at 4 30 a.m. every day apart from Sunday and I finish work at 8 in the evening so it's full-time for me it's a real job for me other trainers other trainers they make the work really difficult because some people are looking to be more famous than get results. Some people are looking for likes and followers on Instagram instead of results. Some people uh, don't really respect their job, you know, so they will tell a client, oh, I'll pay you less than he takes, you know, because they think I take too much or another trainer takes too much. So when we're trying to lift the work up, some people are bringing it down just to become popular. You, you get where I'm coming from? So. The only challenge in the fitness industry is other personal trainers and their emotions. Their emotions. Because I really believe that the market is really large. That all of us can make some money out of it. But a lot of people, they deal with emotions, you know, and that's what, that's the problem in the industry. And other stuff like fame, girls, you know, they, he's a personal trainer because he feels he will get girls. And, for me, it's not enough for me. I'll get girls regardless. In the beginning, when I started, people couldn't understand why I would leave a job as an IT guy and become a personal trainer. 
a lot of people didn't see the vision, the dreams. Even my, my family people could not really understand what was going on. They were not really happy. I mean, until results starts to come out. So I feel like, yeah, not everybody understood or agreed for me to do that. But I feel like that's not a reason for you to stop. That's actually fool, you know, because you, you can take advice from people, but you don't necessarily have to listen to them. So I don't think it didn't really do much for me. I listened to their critics and then I continued what I wanted to do. You know. In a week, I, I mean, I take no more than nine clients a month. So on average, I train nine clients a week. Um, I feel like the industry is appreciated, but the respect is, um, it depends, you know. It's not everyone is respected and not everyone respects it as well. It's about the knowledge. I mean, someone who knows it, understands, respects it. Someone who doesn't really know what's going on would not respect it, so, yeah. Um, first of all, we need some unity and we need trainers who actually know the work, not trainers who feel like there's nothing to do, so I might as well become a personal trainer or I'm a macho man, so let me be a personal trainer. People who are dedicated, passionate and have education about this, you know. I, I really, really don't have a problem with the Ghanaian diet or what we eat over here. I feel like whatever we eat over here is whatever we need to eat over here. Looking at the kind of work and the way we move. But then again, there are some people who don't even work as hard, but they'll be eating the food meant for the people working hard. Example, stuff like Banku was, it was made for the people going to the farm, you know, so when they are there, they have energy to keep them full up. But now you see somebody in an office at 12 o'clock go and eat banku, so the person will fall asleep. So I don't really believe that any food is bad. I believe that we should know how to eat our food and so we should, we should educate, there should be more education. Most of the trainers are all about workout. There's no, there's no education about nutrition. It's just about how to work out. Nobody talks to people about nutrition and as soon as they start talking about nutrition, they introduce foreign foods, foods you cannot get on the market here or so expensive. It dissuades the client. It makes people feel like, oh, I need to eat quinoa and um, what are the things that they've been eating. You know, but I eat cocoa and beans. You know, I eat banku. I eat tozafi. I eat kogonte. I eat yam. I eat rice kontome when I feel like, when it's necessary. Yeah, yeah, everything is in moderation. I drink auza koko for breakfast sometimes. I eat oats for breakfast sometimes. You know, so I just feel like there should be more education about about um, nutrition that's what that's what i think Instagram flash kick with two Ks, flash kick and um, Facebook flash kick William Furiata and my email address is flash kick health and fitness at gmail.com. That's about it. If you want to find me, be checking out for Good Box. Good Box is the new gym that's coming up in Ghana. So I'll be, that's where you can find me.